Hey, 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 what's up, good people? Shelby here. Welcome to my channel. Today, today is a glorious day because Fenty has released their setting powders, their under eye concealer called The Cure. It's like code name, The Cure. Uh, it's supposed to be an instant retouch filter for your skin in real time. Are you ready for that? Uh, are you ready for how good my face looks? Like I'm checking my monitor, like I can't, I can't stop looking. Um, if you cannot tell already, I have some exciting responses to what's on my face. And you know, I got stuff. <laughs> so if you would like to see how I got this look, then please stay tuned. If you are not a subscriber, please go down to the bottom, hit like, hit subscribe, become a member of my channel, of my family, of my YouTube community. Um, and in this video, you will see me apply the under eye concealer. You will see me try out two shades of the powder and you will also see me use one of the new brushes as well as my general thoughts on what it takes to look this good. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's hop into the video. So, first things first, I'm gonna start out with some primer. Uh, I'm gonna go in with the Hangover RX Too Faced Primer. I uh, actually need to get some more of this because I'm definitely running out. But uh, I think that, you know, since I don't have the Fenty Primer, I think this is a really good approximation because it's really moisturizing. Um, and, <clears throat> and, Although it's not mattifying, it gives a really, really nice quality to the skin. And I wanna make sure that I do everything I would normally do in my routine um, to give this concealer a chance. Routine, I'm gonna go in with some LA Girl uh, color corrector in the color orange. My skin is really, uh, in general, I feel like my skin is doing really good but there was a couple of weeks in there where we were not happy campers. Uh, so I'm gonna go over any spots or any discoloration that I don't want to show through the foundation. Um, generally, I only do one layer of the Fenty Face foundation, the Fenty foundation, it's not called Fenty Face, but of the Fenty foundation. Um, so I don't know, maybe I'll try two today so I can get that full coverage beat. From what I've seen in other people's reviews, um, like looking at uh, Iris's review and um, and definitely of Monica's and uh, and Jackie's, of course, and you know they were still saying that it looks it looks like skin, you know, when it's uh, even after two layers. So let me get a little more color corrector. I've got one bad boy right there that I don't want showing through. I'm actually gonna go in with a flat top kabuki brush just so I can get some really good coverage with the uh, with the color corrector. Mm -hmm. Even though it looks like I've been playing in Cheetos, I am ready to go in. <laughs> I'm ready to go in and apply my foundation. And my shade is a uh, 380 and it always says shake it up on the bottle. So a 380 in the Pro Filter Foundation. And this is a soft matte formula. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my Real Techniques brush. And let's start with, I'll start with one pump and I'll put it in, you know, a spot. And then buff. And I actually think I may try out uh, the new shade that this, there's several actually new shades. They added two new shades to this range. Um, but I might try out the 385 because this is a, uh, this, this foundation actually is a really good match for me. But um, I've always thought it was a little bit too neutral or too cool for me. Um, I think I'll try out the other sh other shade, which I think is 385, I want to say. And um, just see if it's possible for it to be even more perfect than it already is. I'm going to go in with one more layer. And I'm going to go in actually with the Beauty Blender for this one. So I'm going to take uh, one pump, one and a half pumps. See what happens. Okay, so my base looks epic. Uh, let's go ahead and go in with the concealer. Okay, so this concealer 
is called The Cure. It is officially called the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. Now, the way that this was set up, um, the, uh, the foundation shades come with an accompanying concealer. So if I'm 380, then I should also wear 380 in the concealer. Um, it's intended to be a slight under eye concealer, so you could do a teeny, tiny little bit of brightening. They're paired, but they're not the same exact color. For me, um, because my undertones are kind of weird and my con and my foundation is kind of cool. I tried to find a concealer that would give me a little bit of brightening but also had a warmer undertone. So I'm going to give this a shot. This is actually 360. Um, I am not actually following instructions, but I think y'all will roll with me. And then for anyone that is curious, this is an 8mm or 0.27 flow ounce container. Now by comparison, the Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer, multi-sculpting, which is like is the big boy in the game, this one is 15 milliliters, um, which is going to take me forever to get through, and I'm in love with this one. So I really want to see how the uh, Fenty stacks up to what I'm already in love with. Are we ready? We're ready. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I've heard this is super thick, um, full coverage. Oh yeah. And um, it's supposed to be creaseless and long wearing. And I don't believe it's supposed to be matte. I think it's supposed to have that soft matte um, consistency and finish. And uh, Ooh, this is all one. This is all one dip, folks. One dip. Let me get right up under my nose, in the middle. This is all one swipe, and then I will also get a little reverse contour action going. Wow. I love this applicator. It reminds me of a lip gloss applicator. Okay, so um, even though I would usually use a beauty sponge or a beauty blender, the new release came with a concealer brush and it also came with a beauty blender. So I think that I will try maybe this side beauty blender and this side with the brush and we'll see, we'll see what we think. So I'm gonna go in with the, and I guess I'll do my nose um, with my brush. Yeah, I'll do the nose with the brush. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I really, ooh, I really like that color. I know it's light, but I'm rocking with it. I'm gonna go on my concealer for the other side. It's nice and thick. I really like the shade. Ooh, ooh, that looks good. Let me match this side down a little more on the nose, or underneath the nose. Really like the color. Um, and I actually really like the way it's going on with the brush, honestly. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's see. Let me see if I got my into my under eye creases because I do have some natural creases under there that I can't pretend are not there. I think I'm ready to set this. Oh, ooh, so setting powder. Okay, so you if you've seen my video, um, you know I was incredibly excited to get into the store. So I I might have overbought. I don't think I need both of these. Um, but look at this packaging. It's so pretty. It's like it's like a gift. These are like gifts to yourself. These are amazing. Uh, I got the color banana and I got the color hazelnut and um, it's so pretty. And it has the Fenty Beauty stamp. Can you see that? I don't think you can see it. You can kind of see it. Fenty Beauty stamp inside. I swear it's like they made this for me. It also comes with this adorable little stopper. I don't know if you, you can see. Yeah, if I move my hand, you can. It says Fenty Beauty on the stopper and it has little bumpies, like kind of like braille writing that fit into here. They keep the powder from getting out. So someone knew, someone knew to design this for me. And I appreciate that someone. I don't know who you are, someone, but I think I love you. I also got <laughs> 
I got, I gave him, I gave Brianna a lot of my money. I don't know if she knows that I gave it to her, but, um, I did. Anyways, I also got the brush and this brush feels so good. It's the 170 setting brush and it feels amazing. And it's pink. Again, packaging folks. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to set under my eye with the banana powder and I'm just going to take a little bit of this and I'm going to swirl in the cap so I get even and I'm going to just press under. Oh, this brush feels amazing. There's just the most subtle smell and the smell is a familiar smell. It's the, I think it's the Fenty smell. Um, it's not at all unpleasant. It's like rich baby powder <laughs> for a rich baby <laughs> Ooh, that was good look at that look at look, look at that look at that oh my god i do want to try the other powder um and this is not necessarily intended to be a baking powder but i've seen that people people are baking with it so let's go ahead and put some under the eye with the beauty blender not a whole bunch, just, you know, just to test. Because, you know, the Fenty, Pop, Fenty Foundation, as much as we all love it, is, um, can be pretty drying. Especially here in this winter time. So, I don't want to hurt myself. But I do want to get in there. Get in here real good. I actually didn't get a darker concealer for my contour, but I will go around the perimeter of my face with opening it like right now with uh with walnut. I'm gonna go in with this angle brush. And just as a reminder, these are intended to be translucent powders. But the tint on the powder should be, for your all over face, should be, you know, close to your skin tone. You don't want to go too light or too dark. If you're going to bake with it, then you need to go with a lighter color so that it doesn't tone down the concealer and then you've erased your highlight. Um, but for, yeah, for under eye highlight, you should definitely go a little brighter. So like for me, if I wanted to do an all over face powder in this, I would probably go up from hazelnut, I would probably go up to honey or butter maybe. Let me go ahead and dust this off my under eye. Um, um, but just for all over face setting, um, I could, I could, I would probably go down from banana to something a little less uh, bright. This brush, I don't know what's in this brush. It's like sunshine and rainbows. Yeah, okay. I really like the way this part of my face looks. I really like it. Um, and let's see, let me look a little closer. I think I will use a little bit of walnut to tone down the banana. I think the banana might be a little bit bright for me actually now that I'm looking at it. In combination with this concealer, I think it might be too much. Maybe I should have followed instructions <laughs> and gone with just my shade. I do really, mm, I like the powder though. This, oh my God, this feels like velvety. My face feels like velvet. Having a good brow day. Having a good brow day. Hey, hey, hey. Get it, get it, brow day. Let's go in and do lips. And uh, we're gonna go in with the Trickery Liner from MAC. And I will top that with Gloss Bomb, Fenty Gloss Bomb. And mine is actually about to be empty. I'm gonna have to go back and get some more. Oh, runaway lock, runaway lock. Okay. So let's just, let's get into this, okay? So first of all, what's not to like? This is like, this is legit. Like, I feel like this looks really good. 
looks really good. Um, my under eyes feel velvety. They're super mattified. Uh, this Pro Filter Concealer Instant Retouch, I feel like it did instant retouch the crap out of my face. I mean, I wasn't hurting before, but you know, we could all use a little bit of help. Anyway, so this is a yes for me. Actually, even in this color, I think this might be a yes for me. I'd like to try one of the darker colors as a contour shade. Uh, so I might go pick that up at the store. But for now, yes, sis, I like this. And if you want a brighter under eye and you have a cooler undertone and you're 380, maybe try 360 or you could go 370. Totally up to you. Personal choice. It's your world. We just live in powders. Okay. I don't think you need to. I think... I think you should pick. However, if you got to, I wouldn't judge you because this I have to. Um, I'm going to use these for the next few days and see if it's to my benefit to have both. I do already have a lot of setting powders, so I don't need it. I will say that I like that the hazelnut is actually a warmer tone compared to my black opal setting powder. It actually reminds me of the Laura Mercier shade, that new deep shade. So walnut is is a good all over face setter for me, um, but depending on your skin tone, it might not be. Um, these run for $32. This is $26. Uh, and then the brush, I think... I can't remember how much this brush was. This brush retails for 34 bucks. Um, is that a lot for a brush? For my collection, heck yes. Half of my brushes were like Target and ColourPop and uh, Crown brushes and Juno and Co. Shout out to you, love you so much. Hearts to the stars. Um, but this brush feels so good. Um, I'm, I'm keeping it. I know I'm keeping it. I'm going to put it over there in my expensive brush set with uh, my Marc Jacobs and my Hourglass brushes. And I just, see, I can't even stop touching it. I'm touching it. It's gorgeous. I, I'm keeping this. Okay. And then um, the, of course, gloss bomb we all know and love. Um, yeah, I'll say I don't regret buying any of this. I do think I have to see how this wears because I do feel like my Huda powder and my, um, what's the other one? My Huda powder and actually even my banana powder from Makeup Revolution are both give me a similar look. But as I'm looking at it on camera, I look like I'm wearing an Instagram filter. Dang, I don't know if that's the setting powder or if that's the concealer. I'm going to have to check. I will, I will wear this concealer with a few of my other setting powders and I'll come back to you. But for now, I I'm shook. I, I mean, look at my face. I'm shook. I haven't felt this excited about my face since the last time I did a full hood of face, honestly. So if you buy these, will you be disappointed? No. There are eight shades. Hear me again. Eight shades, okay? Eight shades. There is one below hazelnut believe that there are four in between and then there is uh two above banana i think they're butter and then there's a translucent or like a lilac cool undertone anyway go out and play go play makeup is supposed to be fun go out get your life get this stuff and go play uh anyways i need to get out of here thank you so much for hanging out with me and i hope that you have an awesome day Ciao for now. Oh, 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 if you have not, if you have not subscribed or hit the like button, you're still here. You like it. Go down to the bottom and hit those buttons, babe. Hit the bell shape notification so that you will get an update whenever I load. And um, again, go check, go check out my Instagram stories. I was super excited when I went in the store. I think I may have done a runway walk. I had to get all that extra excitement out. Anyways, ciao for now, for real. Bye-bye.